Explain what's going on and all? Yeah, so all right. what, what are you doing? So this device here is called an SD Mox, and uh, one of the problems we've had in lava in the past is all of the boards in our validation lab need to be on and accessible like you know, 24 seven. And when we're testing bad images, they may have like a, a U-boot image that won't allow the board to come up. So in the past, we've had this concept of a master image, which is not the optimal way to do things. And we don't get quite the test coverage we would like. So um, some guys got together and created this SD Mux. And what it does is on one end, it's hooked up to the board. And on the other end, it's actually hooked up to the USB port on my system. So it can appear to either one of these devices. So now if we have a bad U-boot or something like that, we can just rewrite to this card without like having to be, you know, there in person. It's going to all be done remotely. So now I'm going to actually try to download a 1202 Panda image from this computer. It will write it to this card and then it will try to boot up and read the image from there. Is it going to work? I have no idea. I, I've been doing it from home, but this is literally the first time I've tried it here in Hong Kong. So things could break. We'll see what happens. So this downloads it look great? So far, yeah, this download's going to be really slow. You might uh, wind up. Yeah. So that's what you work on, uh, remote testing. Yeah, well, yeah, a big part of the the validation lab, we're we've got 50 different boards, kind of like that, and um, there's only one guy that works actually on site in the Cambridge lab that has physical access, and the rest of the team, we have a guy in New Zealand, I'm in uh, Austin, Texas, there's another guy in Spain, so being able to do these things remotely and have them work reliable without a lot of human intervention is a huge part of what we have to, you know, deal with day to day. All right, so this is uh, just one of the 50 boards, and this is uh, an invention to fix something. Yes, exactly, yeah. All right. We're here with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, no. The, the thing is, for, for Fedora, what we're looking at is, um, again, like you guys, for the for the a for the build system, and B because it's still kind of old, and B for um, for testing. Yeah. Right. So the aim is provisioning. So, um, okay. So you have one. You have the target uh, hooked up here. Um, then you have a card that you're you're exposing through here. Um, how how is it? I mean, it's 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 electrically detaching from here. Appearing here, and then it's allegedly detaching from here and, and appearing there. So it's it's whether this is ins inserted as far as the, the view in the way that it this works is, is by a power by power to here. Off that okay, board. so if this goes, if power is applied here, then this will electrically detach well, from here. No, no, I have to. You have to control from both ends. So I have to power, power this down this down and then power this on. That's see, that's what it is. No, that's not quite what I wanted. I wanted a third cable here that gives me the, the switch or the or, or 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 a protocol. But no, no. Basically, I mean, basically, what we're wanting and what Zach's looking at doing now is, if power is on the board, it's yeah. always it always gets preference to this because it's pretty easy to rely. Basically. Controlling power to a USB port is a little. It, there's no failure mode in which you have both attached, is there? Right now there is. You can, yeah. Right now there is. That's yeah. the problem. That's the problem. There ought to be. I mean, what you could do is you could do uh, what I, I. Well, selfishly, what I would like is a sense detect or something that says if this is uh, inserted, then this is detached and I can do stuff and I can then uh, eject this and then this appears. Yeah. Or preferably some kind of soft control. I need just a single pin here. <laughs> That determines whether this is, you know, that's not hard to do. To yeah. isolate either interface or both. Um, yeah. But you know what? They've done something which is good. Yeah, it is. I'm, and like this, it, it works now, at least apparently not all hubs yeah. um, honor like powering on and off that board. This has worked for me 98% of the time. <laughs> There's so, a. It, it actually just quit working uh, on Tuesday for a while, and then uh, it magically started working again on Wednesday. Let's but, talk. Um, let's talk.
let's talk test at some point, because we've got a new guy who's doing a lot of the test stuff for us, Paul Whalen, uh, in okay. the Fedora community. Um, and I want to do, the other thing I want to do is um, fly some water-based provision. Um, but we can just force recover a board. Um, I guess this, this works fine for this kind of situation, but if, yeah. if um, you can also just uh, force reset a board and uh, inject yeah, bits like into it. Yeah, like it is a build farm. That's a little bit different. For testing, not for a build farm. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's going to do testing testing structure as well. So okay. the board farm is going to move over to more enterprise-grade hardware. Um, but... Um, but, you know, it, it happens right now to be Panda boards, and we might as well use the same hardware for testing. Well, yeah. it's, well why not, right? So, so. That's very cool. How long have you been with Lenore? Uh, about a year and a half now. Oh, yeah, started January 2011. I'll just take this one. <laughs> but no, I've just been, uh, I took, uh, I just started with the Lava team about two months ago. Okay, so. I figured, because I was like, I didn't recognize Yeah, I was, uh... I when Paul took the QA services role, I came in and took the team. So what were you before? What were you doing before? I had a, a weird job. 